So the award show for the NFL just happened, and DeMar Hamlin did not win Comeback Player of the Year. It went to Joe Flacco instead, and fans have been ruthless online, and it's been a very big split. There have been people that say, bro, this dude literally died and came back to life. And then there's people that are saying Joe Flacco deserves it because he literally actually helped the team. And Jamar Hamlin just kind of came back and first surprised that, hey, and then didn't do anything. So I'm curious what side you guys are on. Yeah, what side are you on, Dino? <laughs> I mean, I thought we were going to wrap this up. Um, <laughs> shit. So in my opinion, it didn't matter how many snaps he played, how many tackles he had. If he stepped on the field, even if it was for a kneel down and the other team winning, he should win comeback player of the year. Now, where people are going to argue is the fact that Flacco contributed. And while I understand that, and then you even have Tua coming back from concussions, I understand that as well. And the other argument was for who? Baker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Baker. Baker right? Mayfield. So, Baker, Tua, and Flacco. All three quarterbacks. And then you have Hamlin. Let's analyze what they each came back from. Baker being cut and thrown around the league. Flacco being unemployed because he sucked. Tua. Concussions. Hamlin. Death. Literally died on the field, on national television. <laughs> they canceled a game that had playoff implications. There's no way it should be, and the fucking trophy should be named DeMar Hamlin, comeback player of the year. <laughs> I, I don't disagree with what you said, but w the one thing you said about Flacco kind of plays in this favor, though, too was he was unemployed. I know he, he wasn't dead, but he was sitting on the couch, you know, eating pork rinds right. and drinking beer. And to get thrown into a title race and then actually succeed, put up some of the craziest numbers we've seen from somebody doing that. Um, it, I, I'm in the Flacco deserves it because he contributed more to the, to the game. But I agree that <laughs> it should be named the Jabari Hamlin <laughs> Comeback Player of the Year Award. Or... Or they come up with another award for an injury or death, Lazarus Dude, effect. Okay, that's Something. what I. That's it. Literally in my notes, I said the same thing. Something. I think Flacco deserves it because he actually contributed to something. Yeah. He had determined, he overcame obstacles and inspiration. I know that Demar Hamlin did the same thing, but when I think of comeback of the player, I think of you know on the field, like helping your team. Like Demar Hamlin didn't necessarily <laughs> help his team space. win. But he does deserve a other award that's yes. like the, the, insp award. the inspiration award. Yes, Lazarus Demar. Yeah, Hamlin like award. they all and the the player that inspired us this year, Demar okay. Hamlin. No, that's a participation trophy. It's not comeback impact player of the year. But that's the way I view it. Is what I'm saying. So like then, I, so, so then it should be. Comeback impact player of the year is the so, award, and then comeback player of the year is for shit like this. Google, but if you have if you have nah. the last hold on, if you have the Lazarus Award, right? Let's just say we call it that. He's the only one <laughs> in the history of sports that would have won that award. There's only two people I know that have ever died and came back. Him and Jesus. <laughs> Lazarus, too. Whatever. <laughs> Three. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how does this look? So, six, so Jedi, you have your computer. Google what the criteria for that award is because I looked it up earlier. It's so ambiguous. Player? Yes, it's ambiguous. So it doesn't clearly define what it is. So that's, look, he that's played, the issue. That's I, the issue. I, I understand, but he played 16 snaps. He had two solo tackles. <laughs> I understand that. But he had a solo tackle after after dying. Yeah. Dying, trying to make a solo tackle. The, the 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 mind state that you have, the mental state that you have to be in to even have yeah, the balls amazing. to do that yeah. is amazing. But uh, he had more first place votes than Flacco. Flacco won the award based on he had more second and third place Oh, votes. really? Yes, that's why it's bullshit. The guy died. Well, <laughs> it says here shows uh, 
overcoming adversity? Death. I know. What that's is what more... I, it's it's very ambiguous. A player who overcomes the worst adversity to return to play, even for a single snap in the NFL. Read that again. <laughs> oh, that's read bad. That again. I didn't read that. I didn't read that line. <laughs> read that again. For now it audience. is Wikipedia, so you know Slowly. some people change it. Wikipedia has changed. It has the edit True. option. Yeah. True. You can't so look at you can't look at Wikipedia. We don't no, but know. If, but but if like if if we were in a court of law and you read that, I would stand up and walk out. Be like, my client is guilty. <laughs> Dude, I would sink in my chair. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'd t- if, if me if me and Deepaw were your lawyers, we'd be like, yeah, he just lost this, this case. <laughs> just get out now, bro. Holy shit. Well, that's all we have today on Hot Shots. We'll be back at it talking about some baseball and basketball news. But until then, follow us on all socials at Hot Shots Podcast. We'll talk to you next time.